Well, good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. Can you even believe it? I'm actually outside taking a walk. This is my first time taking a walk or doing any really intentional movement since I had my cosmetic surgery. I am almost four weeks post-op. Actually, when you see this video, it'll be my four-week post-op anniversary. So that's pretty exciting. So I was cleared to start walking about three weeks. So I decided to take advantage of that, see if I can make it through about a 30 minute walk. I'm walking my normal 30 minute route. It's a really, really beautiful day today. It's already about 57 degrees. We're going to hit 107 next weekend. So Summer is officially here in Arizona for sure, but it feels good to be out. I will say that I do have like a little pressure in my chest, which I get that even just walking around my house. So that was my big concern is, was I actually going to be able to make a solid walk outside without being really uncomfortable? And I'm about 10 minutes into my walk and I feel good. I feel like I'm going to be able to do my 30 minute loop We'll see what happens the rest of the day. Does it wipe me out? Do I have to take Tylenol? <laughs> but I will say that it feels really good to be kind of back out moving my body. I can feel it, not gonna lie. It's been a month since I've done any physical activity and I can feel it. I mean, even just taking a walk, I know that that'll get better as I consistently exercise. So if I can make it today, my plan is to try to walk pretty regularly, at least maybe four or five times a week until I'm cleared to actually go back to lifting weights and going back to boot camp. I did have my protein coffee this morning, got ready for the day, figured that I would do my hair, do my makeup, feel as normal as possible. We're gonna go home, have breakfast. I actually have a new breakfast that I wanna test out with you guys. So I'm pretty excited about that, but I at least wanted to come on and welcome you to today's video. We have a busy day today, lots going on. So let's finish this walk, get home and make some breakfast. home from my walk and I am hungry. I definitely need some breakfast. And like I said, I have a new breakfast that I want to share with you guys. Actually, new products to me from Clean Simple Eats. You know, I love Clean Simple Eats. I live on their protein powder. I use all of their energy drink mixes, their greens. I love their protein powder, but they actually sell protein pancake and waffle mix in the flavor of vanilla. Now you can see I haven't even opened this yet. It actually has 15 grams of protein and five grams of fiber. One serving is 198 calories. You have two grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, no added sugar. It says no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, organically sourced ingredients. And on the front here, it says there's flax seeds and omega-5. So I'm really excited about this. So I wanna make a pancake, a protein pancake for breakfast. And then I'm going to add a few of these mini chocolate chips. These are just Nestle Toll House mini chocolate chips. And then they also sell pancake and waffle syrup mix. Now this is just the coolest thing. Each serving is 32 calories, eight carbohydrates, zero grams of protein, zero fiber, but this is powdered syrup mix. And then what you do is mix it up in the Clean Simple Eats little syrup container and you can keep it in your refrigerator and you have syrup on hand, sugar-free syrup. And what's amazing about this and one of the main things that drew me to it is there's no caramel coloring. Now there's typically caramel coloring in most sugar-free syrups. This doesn't have it. It has organic maple sugar, natural maple, flavor and color, xanthan gum, and then try calcium added for moisture. That's it. And you can make it up anytime you need it. Keep it in your refrigerator. It's five bottles at least of syrup in this powdered form. So I'm real, and it's really, really, really good. So we're going to make up the Clean Simple Eats syrup to put on our pancakes. I have some strawberries. I'm going to have a side of fruit, probably put a little butter on there. So I'm really excited to test this out. I love a good protein pancake. I love a pancake. And if I can get some protein, even better. So I will go ahead and link Clean Simple Eats down below for you with 10% off but let's make some chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast. So the back of the bag says to add half of a cup of the pancake mix to a bowl, and that is one serving. So it says we should get about 
two pancakes. I believe that half of a cup is way more than even Kodiak protein pancake is for about the same amount of calories. So it says add half of a cup clean simple eats pancake and waffle mix to a bowl with a quarter cup or water or more for thinner pancakes. It says for extra protein, add an egg or egg white to the batter. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to add an egg white. So I have some liquid egg whites. I'm just going to add a little bit of this and then we'll add water until we get that right consistency. So this looks like a pretty good consistency for me. I would rather have the mix be a little bit thicker. Let's make up the syrup and throw it in the refrigerator while we cook the pancake. So this says to mix one part clean simple eats syrup mix to two parts of water in a bowl or the CSE shaker bottle. You can see that there's the little shaker ball in here as well. So it says nine grams dry. So I have it on my food scale. I'm going to add nine grams, add in some water, shake it up. And then it says the longer it sits, the thicker it gets. So here's our syrup. I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator and let's cook the pancake. I almost forgot my chocolate chips. I'm going to add in, I think 10 grams of chocolate chips. Yes, let's do 10 grams of mini chocolate chips. There we go. Stir that into the batter and now let's make our pancake. So here's my breakfast. Doesn't this look amazing? So that is one serving of the Clean Simple Eats protein powder. It made a huge pancake. The syrup perfection. I did put a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter, just real butter on there. And then I have 100 grams of strawberries. So this is breakfast. So let's try the Clean Simple Eats protein pancake. Remember, I did add some chocolate chips to mine as well. So all of the points, calories, and macros include the butter, the chocolate chips, the chocolate chips, just make the pancake. It's really good. It definitely gives me more of an authentic buttermilk, real pancake, not a protein pancake, but like an Aunt Jemima or out to IHOP pancake vibe. It's really good, has really, really good flavor. The syrup is perfection, tastes just like the syrup you buy at the store, much more affordable, much better ingredients. You can just keep it in your fridge. This is really, really good, and it's going to give me 15 grams of protein, which is pretty darn good for a pancake. So I'm getting ready for a coaching call this morning. Luckily, I only have one call today because I have a really busy day of editing videos. Troy and I need to do a pretty thorough cleaning on the house and I'm actually feeling good enough to help him. I took that amazing walk this morning, so I'm feeling really good. Definitely more energized. I feel energized. I feel like when we move, we have more energy and we say, oh, I don't have energy to exercise. But if you just exercise, then you get more energy, if that makes sense. So I am excited for, I'm excited to get some extra movement in today. I just mixed up my Motivate Burn. I really like to have this mid-morning, just gives me that mid-morning boost, helps me make it through the day. Like I mentioned, I had my coffee this morning, but this is a supplement that I like to take every day. Sometimes I use the regular Motivate. Sometimes I use the No Stim Motivate, which actually doesn't have any caffeine. Kind of depends on where I am if I feel like I need that little bit of caffeine boost. But because I have to clean the house today, I mixed up my regular Motivate Burn. I used the watermelon from the sampler pack. Speaking of sampler packs, Motivate has an amazing deal going on right now. They have what's called the Motivate Starter Bundle. And this is really good for anybody who hasn't really tried Motivate or if you've only tried a couple of their products, this is a great way and an affordable way to try some of their best-selling products. Honestly, some of my favorite products. The first thing in the little bundle is what I put in my water this morning, which is one of the little Motivate Magic Sticks or the motivate burn packs. What I really like about this sample pack is you get five different flavors of motivate burn. So you can test them out, find your favorites. They do sell the motivate burn by the tub, but this is great for travel, portability to test it out. So this is included in their little starter bundle. You're also going to get both packs of the motivate no stim burn. So this still has all the burn features, energy, fat loss, metabolism boosting, helps keep you full and satisfied, clarity, focus. You're going to get all of that with the no stim burn minus the caffeine. So you'll, you're going to get a five pack of the Miami lemonade, which I love. And then this one is so good. This is the brand new no stim and this is the kiwi strawberry. It's my favorite. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the lemonade too, but the kiwi strawberry, it, it stole my heart. I have the full tub of it. That's how much I love it. But you're actually going to get 
all three of the No Stim and Burn sampler packs. And then you're also going to get the sampler pack of the greens. I'm gonna insert a picture because I thought I had them and I just asked my lovely husband and he said that he's drank them all which is fine. I'm glad that he enjoys them, that he's drinking his greens, that he's getting in his greens, but I actually wanted to show you guys the sampler pack. I'm going to have to place another order, but you actually get four packs of the Motivate Greens, two of the Tangerine and two of the Peach. Again, great for portability, great for travel, great for on the go. They're pre-portioned, ready to go, and their greens are delicious. None of that weird grassy flavor, just really good fruity flavor. I love the Tangerine and the Peach equally, and apparently so does Troy. I always use my Motivate shaker bottle to mix everything thing up. It does have the shaker component in the lid, the sip top. It keeps everything nice and cold. I love this. I actually have two of these. And for me, it just makes sense to mix up all of these products in the Motivate shaker. I do have a 20% discount for Motivate that you can actually use on top of the starter pack starter pack bundle prices. So there's actually two different bundles on sale right now on the Motivate website. Without the shaker bottle, the bundle's normally $70. Right now it's on sale for $39.99. And with my discount code, you can get the entire bundle for only $32. That's going to be all four of the sampler packs, the Motivate Burn, the two No Stim, and the Greens. Now, if you're interested in the shaker bottle, which I highly recommend, the other package includes the shaker. It is normally $90. It is on sale for $49.99, and with my code and discount, it's $40. So essentially, it's about $8 more with my discount to get the shaker bottle. And like I said, I like that it's temper temperature controlled. It has the shaker component in the lid, so it really helps mix everything up really well and I really like it, but you do have the option to purchase a bundle with or without the shaker. So I'll link it down below for you and I'm going to hop on the Motivate website and pick up some more greens. Good morning. Are you up for today? Oh, yes. Good morning. Sweat it out. Yes, it's sweat it out. Good morning, babas. Good morning. Good morning, baby. You are both up for the day finally. Yeah, you're both up for the day finally. I have a new favorite snack that I wanna share with you guys. I've been making this uh, almost every day and I know you guys are going to love this. It's a great way to get in protein, fruit, have a little bit of a crunch. So what it is, is it's basically a yogurt bowl, but it's kind of a spin on a yogurt bowl. So first you're going to need a Greek yogurt of your choice. Chobani Zero Sugar honestly is probably my favorite. I love that it's 60 calories, 11 grams, of protein. Today I'm using blueberry. You can, like I said, use any yogurt, any flavor. You're going to add fruit of your choice. So I have some strawberries, some blackberries, whatever fruit you want to add. And then you're going to add granola of your choice. So this is just a little bit of this granola that I bought at a local farmer's market. Again, any granola will work. That's just going to give it a little bit of a crunch. I like to add a tiny bit of whipped cream. Again, that's optional. Actually, all of this is optional. This is just my favorite way to make the yogurt bowl. But really the star of the show, in my opinion, is the Chia Smash. So I shared this in my favorites video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. This is the strawberry chia smash. This is four ingredients, strawberries, chia seeds, dates, and lemon. That's it. I mean, it's super, super clean ingredients. It's only 25 calories for a serving. Really good and adds just the perfect texture and jam to the yogurt that makes it feel a little bit more decadent. So let me put this together and I'll show you guys the finished yogurt bowl, give you the points, the calories, the macros, but I've literally been pretty much living on this. So here is the yogurt bowl. Doesn't this look amazing? I'm telling you, this is one of my all-time favorite snacks. I just love the crunch of the granola, the texture that the chia seeds gives it, and you can make so many different variations using different yogurts, different granola, different fruit. I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to get my raspberry chia smash. I buy mine off of Imperfect Foods, so I'll link Imperfect Foods down below for you with a discount. I did reach out to Chia Smash directly to see if I could get a discount code for you, so whatever info I have will be down in the description box, but this is my morning snack. 
I'm just getting ready to head out the door to go get a coffee, of course. I always need a second coffee every day. I've been doing decaf for my second coffee just to help ease back into caffeine, especially because I did have that Motivate Burn today. I'm definitely going to do decaf, and I have to go to the post office. We need to mail some medical documentation for Troy for Social Security. So update on that a little bit. You guys have been asking how he's doing. He's actually doing pretty well. He still ha obviously has medical concerns, but he's doing better. His elbow's doing really well. He almost has complete full range of motion, which is amazing, but we but we're still waiting to be approved for social security. So we're still paying Cobra medical insurance every month, which you know is really, really expensive, but he has to have medical insurance and it's just a waiting game. I'm anticipating not really hearing anything until the end of this year, which will be almost two years since we originally applied for social security. It'll be over a year since our denial, our first attempt at applying, we were denied. So it'll be almost a year since that denial. So we did hire an attorney. So fingers crossed, that he can get his social security, get back on his medical, and he'll also get his union pension, which will really help us out financially because right now I'm it. I'm the only income in the house, so I really appreciate all of you guys watching my videos, using my links, especially if they're affiliate links. I really appreciate it. I do earn a little small commission on affiliate links, and everything helps when I'm the sole income of my family. So thank you again for all your support for my channel. So like I said, I'm about to head out the door to go to the post office and get a coffee, but my dossier order just came, and you guys know I order myself a couple of dossier fragrances every single month, and literally this box just showed up on my doorstep. I love Dossier. Dossier basically replicates high-end perfumes for a much more affordable price, typically between $29 and about $49 per fragrance versus hundreds of dollars of the high-end perfumes. And I love Dossier. I love that I can have all these different perfumes available to me. I can get seasonal scents, which make me really happy. I can buy some of my favorite high-end fragrances for a quarter of the price. So like I said, I order myself two or so every single month and they just showed up and let's put some perfume on before we head out the door. But I wanted to share with you the two fragrances that I grabbed for June. I really tried to focus on more summery bright scents since it is almost hundred degrees here. So the first scent is the floral honeysuckle. And what I love, I always we say this about dossier is the magnetic lid. I can keep these in my purse and I don't have to worry about them spilling. I also take these when I travel because again with the magnetic lid I don't have to worry about spillage. Honeysuckle is inspired by Gucci Bloom. Now I love Gucci Bloom. It's floral. It's fresh. It's fruity. It's summer. The top notes in honey, floral honeysuckle are green leaves, orange, and honeysuckle. The middle notes are jasmine, sandback, tuberose, and the base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. So like I said, it's fruity. It's floral. It's woodsy. It's summer. It's Gucci Bloom. Oh wow. That smells so good. It's everything that I wanted in a summer fragrance. I definitely get the strong honeysuckle, which is that sweetness. And then you get the vanilla and the musk. It's amazing. And it literally smells like Gucci Bloom because trust me, I've smelled Gucci Bloom. I've almost put Gucci Bloom in my Ulta car on my Ulta app. I've almost added Gucci Bloom to my cart. And I'm glad I didn't because this right here is Gucci Bloom for a, fra for a fraction of the price. It's fruity. Honey. Now this is inspired by Joe Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. I love Joe Malone. I love honey. I love orangey, citrus, fresh scents. Again, perfect for summer. So the top notes in this are black currant and green leaves. The middle notes are honey and nectarine and your base notes are peach and velveteer. So this is definitely a more fruity fla fragrance. I've smelled this in store as well. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so yummy. I definitely smell the peach. I smell the honey. I think I'm going to wear this one today. It smells so good. I mean, both of these are quintessential summer fragrances. And again, for the fraction of the price of the designer brand. The one thing I do want to state about Dossier is the lasting power isn't as good as the high-end brand, but it's so affordable. You can just add another layer of perfume throughout the day, which is what I typically do. And I'd much rather pay $29 to $49 than hundreds of dollars. So I'm so excited to have these for summer. I will link Dossier down below for you with a 5% discount that you can actually piggyback on 
any other discount on the dossier website. And every time I order, they always have some type of sale going on. And I love that you can piggyback that extra 5% off. So definitely check dossier out. So I am in the car on my way to run the errands that we talked about. I've added a third errand. Troy wants me to stop and get him a pop at the gas station, which is perfect because it's right next to the post office. So our first stop is going to be Duncan. I got a little bit different coffee, kind of changed it up. So we'll see if we like it. We'll stop at the gas station, grab Troy a pop, and then we'll go to the post office. I've got bills to mail. I have a package to mail. I need to buy some stamps. And I thought while we were in the car, I could give you a little bit of a surgery update. So as a reminder, I had plastic surgery one month ago today. I am a month post-op. That's why I was able to take a walk today. I sent pictures last night to the visit to the surgeon. I send pictures to my surgeon in Mexico every three days so that they can look over scars, how everything is healing, offer any suggestions. So in the check-in, I had Troy take a close-up of my back incision because I want to confirm that the stitches have indeed, indeed dissolved because they were supposed to be dissolvable stitches. And I wanted to make sure that everything looks good and that it's healing the way that's to be expected. And then I always send a picture of my chest because I want them to be able to look at that and just make sure that it looks the way that it should look about a month post-op. And this is TMI, so if you don't want to hear about boobs or nipples, this is your chance to go ahead and exit out for a second. But when I had my lift and implants, they actually removed my nipples and then reattached them and they look so much better not gonna lie my areola is definitely a lot smaller than it was I had pretty large ones before so they look a little bit more normal I guess since it was cut and reattached it is cut all the way around and the skin around it is really dry so I want to make sure that it's okay that I put lotion on that so I really appreciate that the follow-up is so good with the plastic surgery team in Mexico that I can message her whenever I want and I follow up every three days I'm waiting to hear back from the plastic surgery team and in that email I also asked about working out. He had originally told me that I could go back to boot camp lifting weights at four weeks, which is today, which isn't going to happen. I still can't really lift my arms above about right here without it being pretty uncomfortable. So I'm wanting to get an update on thoughts of returning to working out. My thought based on how I feel in my body is that I'm hoping fingers crossed that I can go back to boot camp and go back to the actual gym and lift weights right around the beginning of July. So that's my personal goal, but I'm just waiting to hear from them on their thoughts. But everything's going really well. I would say that I feel about 80% back to normal. I have no pain on my back at all. The incision's a little bit sensitive still, which is going to be sensitive until it's fully healed, which should be just another week or two, I would, I would think. And then my chest area, I still have pressure. That's going to be a while. It's going to be uncomfortable until everything drops into place, which can be months and months down the road. So overall though, every day I feel like I get a little bit better. I really turned a corner this week in feeling normal and feeling good. So I'm so grateful for that. And I'm really, really excited that I'm comfortable taking a walk now. And my goal is to walk 30 minutes, seven days a week and really just build back up that endurance. So when I can go back to boot camp and can go back to the gym, it's not a complete nightmare and I don't want to die. So I'm hoping to get those walks in every day. I guess I have a pickup order for Jen Clayton. Okay, Thank you. Okay. I have my coffee. So here's what I did. I did an iced Americano decaf because I had that burn this morning. And then I put in this sweet cream cold foam. It's not very foamy. So I haven't tried it yet. I haven't even taken a sip yet. I was thinking it was going to be more like Starbucks, you know, that has that nice foam on top. This doesn't really look like that. Hmm. This isn't right. This is an Americano with cream. There is no sweet cream whatsoever. It tastes good. It definitely has a good coffee taste, but there's no flavor. There's no sweetness at all. So I guess all I have to count is the little bit of cream that's in here. I always do two creams instead of three, but this is definitely not what I ordered. Oh, Duncan. I'm going to put together my lunch. I'm actually doing my meal prep. These are my turkey burgers that I prepped on Monday. If you miss meal prep, I'll link it down below for you. I'm telling you these burgers are 
amazing. I put my burger on one of these keto buns. I love these. They have quite a bit of protein in them. I use a thin slice of cheese, some baby spinach, avocado, corn. I know that sounds weird, but it's really good on these burgers. And then I use some light mayo. And for dessert, I'm going to have one of my chocolate and walnut cookies that I also meal prep. And these two think that they're having some lunch right along with me. But let me go ahead and put together my burger and I'll show you my lunch. So here is my lunch. Look at my burger. Does that look amazing? And then I have my chocolate walnut cookie. I'm telling you, definitely try these burgers. I know they sound weird, but they're really, really good. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Bark box is here. Palmer already knows that it's here. So we're gonna unbox this quickly so we can give him a baby. Try to cut it open first, bud. All right, so, oh, this is cute. Okay, so the month's theme is Carnival Barkers. So it looks like it's all carnival themed. In BarkBox, every month you get two toys, two bags of treats, and then some type of bone or chew, typically. And this is the large dog box. I just split it between my two dogs. Lola doesn't do treat or toys, only Palmer does. I usually give her the bone out of here. I will link BarkBox down below for you with, I believe it's a free month. If you sign up through the link, I'll put it all down below for you. But we have the corn dog. I know. Hang on. This is so cute. A little corn dog. Adorable. And then we have the, I, I know just a minute. This is my life. The perfect pitch that actually has a ball and then the little toy that you, the ball that you throw at those toys at the carnival games. How fun is that? Hey, patience. The treats are Baba Biscuits Lamb Recipe and Swimmy Jerky Bites. Homer is losing his mind. And then we have a pumpkin and honey stick. And then it shows you, you know, fun things you can do, little games you can play with your dogs, the other toys you could have got. So we'll ask Troy if he wants to get Palmer the corn dog or the little ball that you throw at the baby. Corn dog? Okay. Corn dog it is. Let me show you guys Palmer's reaction to the corn dog. Easy with the corn dog. There you go. Oh, goodness. Go, Palmer, go. Go, go. All right, and I know what you want. You want the pumpkin and honey stick. Yeah, you so do. Do you want some of this? Okay, come over here, Palmer. Come here. Come here, Palmer. There you go. There you go. Good job. So I'm going to have a quick afternoon snack. We just finished cleaning the house. I was actually able to mop. That's a big win. I'm going to have two of my Alyssa's cookies. You guys know I absolutely, and I'm obsessed with these. I buy them off of her website. I heard they're on Amazon. They're cheaper on her website. So I'll link it for you. And then I'm going to have a couple of hard boiled eggs for some protein. I'm gonna start dinner here in about an hour and a half. So I don't wanna have too big of a snack. For dinner tonight, I'm making an Instant Pot Cheesy Chicken Burrito Bowl. You can also make this on your stovetop, but I'm gonna use my Instant Pot. It makes it really easy, so let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need chicken broth, rice. You can also use cauliflower rice. The recipe actually calls for both regular rice and cauliflower rice, but Troy doesn't like it, so I'm just gonna do regular rice, black beans, rotel, a jar of salsa, light shredded cheese, bell peppers, a pound of 96, 98% ground chicken, and a onion. So I have my Instant Pot on saute mode. I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, warmed it up. I'm going to add my pound of ground chicken, and we're going to allow that to brown. Now I'm going to add in my chopped up bell pepper onion and let that saute down for about five more minutes. Now we're going to add all the rest of our ingredients. I did turn the saute mode, so the Instant Pot is off. I'm going to add my can of black beans undrained, my can of Rotel, half of a cup of uncooked rice. You would also add your cauliflower rice if you were using it. A cup of chicken broth and a jar of salsa. Stir that all together really well. We're going to put the lid on our Instant Pot and cook it for 15 minutes. So once the Instant Pot went off, I allowed it to naturally release for about 10 minutes. 
Then I manually released it, stirred it up, and this looks so good. The last step is we're going to go ahead and add some light shredded cheese to the top, and then I just throw the lid back on and it melts the cheese. I'll plate it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. This looks amazing. I topped it with a tablespoon of Daisy Light Sour Cream and 55 grams of avocado. Topped it with a little dried cilantro. This looks amazing. The recipe makes six servings total, so it is a big serving, and I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen without the toppings. That way, if you don't use sour cream or avocado, you have the accurate points and macros, so this is dinner. So dessert tonight, no surprise to anybody, is going to be protein ice cream, so I made up my mix last night. What I did is one cup of Fairlife chocolate milk, one package of the Clean Simple Eats. This is cookies and cream, but I actually did mint chocolate cookie. It's so good, you guys. It is literally like a mint chocolate ice cream shake. And then I'm going to try out for the first time the Girl Scouts topping that I bought at Sam's Club. This is the Thin Mint cookie, and it'll put some whipped cream on there. I'm so excited, and this is such a big punch of protein, and I get to eat the entire pint of ice cream. So nobody is mad about that. Perfect ice cream consistency. It's literally just the Fairlife milk and the clean, simple eats. I'm going to add my whipped cream and my Girl Scout topping. All right, and here is my ice cream. So I added just a teaspoon of that, which is 15 calories. I am so excited for this. This looks absolutely delicious. Again, I got the Girl Scout mix at Sam's Club. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, exercising with me, that amazing snack, that amazing dinner. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Down in the description box, I will link everything I shared with you today. Don't forget about the Motivate Bundle, Dossier, BarkBox, everything will be down below for you. And of course, you'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.